Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Trucker Rudy coming to you this fine morning. Yes, indeed. We're just trying to clean our windshield over here so that way we can see something out of the windshield. Or better say, you guys can see something out of the windshield when we're going down the road. So uh, let's get our day started. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And that's coming right along for some sceneries today. At least we got very nice sunshine today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed we do. Been going for uh, an hour and three quarters now, and just cruising up here in the back roads. And yep. So I figured, yeah, time to turn on the cameras a little bit and show you what we are up to today. Looks like it's going to be a very nice, gorgeous day today. Not much clouds going on whatsoever, and. Uh, not windy like we had it yesterday either so that's kind of nice and we don't have any snow yet either so that's fantastic news now, I will need to make me a pit stop a little bit later and call up the customer and see what they're gonna tell me if we can deliver tonight or or if we have to go by appointment or how it works and all that good stuff so so that way we can find all that information out or if we can even go there and park there for the night or if there's a place somewhere in that area that we can stay at for the night so that way we can find all that information out yes indeed that's good information to have right that way you know if you can go there for the night or not, right? But yeah, everything is working good. We're just cruising along here. What the heck are you cross saying street warning for them? On cruise here. <laughs> State border ahead. State border ahead. I guess we'll be in Michigan here in a little bit. Wow, I didn't think we were that close to Michigan already, but I guess we are. Well, that's good. In a way, yes it is, but in another way it's not, right? <laughs> yeah, well, we got us a long way to go yet. We got 494 miles to go yet, so. We got our work cut out for us today. If we want to get there tonight. 600 miles to do today if we want to get there. Well, I think it was like four miles less than 600, but. Hey, nonetheless, that's pretty good miles that we have to do today in order to get there, but... Oh, well, I'll call them up here later and see what they say, and... If they say we can uh, come tonight, or we can even come tomorrow first thing in the morning, then... Then we will do that, and then we'll let dispatch know that's how we're going to be available, and... Go from there here we go ladies and gentlemen this is the first sign of our sceneries up here yeah we will be driving along lakes like these all over Michigan yeah this is only a small one we will be seeing a very big one later on today I'm pretty sure unless something goes wrong right but yeah just figured out start showing you guys some nice sceneries oh yeah wouldn't you love to live in an area like this right beside the lake or beach whatever you want to call it enjoy your life yeah it's a beautiful life man when you can live right beside a lake like that enjoy a nice sunrise every morning over the lake or something like that you know that is gorgeous oh yeah but anyways we'll continue cruising along here and make our journey I just uh, called my customer here a few minutes ago there's a truck stop there just at the corner there so we pulled in and 
called our customer and they said, yeah, you got an appointment here for tomorrow at 10 a.m. You got trailer number such and such. I said, yep, that's it, that's me. I said, all right, we'll see you here tomorrow at 10. Said, all right, well, I guess then we can't deliver tonight or earlier tomorrow, so we gotta pretty much wait till 10 o'clock then, so. And there is no point in rushing today, I guess. I mean, the only good that does me that, by doing that, is uh, basically getting down there and I won't have any miles to drive tomorrow. And that leaves me with the rest of the day, I guess, for tomorrow, if I all of a sudden do get me a reload. And I need to do some miles, and that's pretty much all I would see. Or all the good that it would do, actually. Which ain't a bad idea, I guess. But, but yeah, let's continue on with our journey here in the back roads. All right, guys, here we are in the uh, Michigan McIntyre Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually on top of the lake, pretty much. Yes, indeed, we are. Just cruising right on through here and. And it is fairly windy today and they got the right lane closed up here on both directions. I'm guessing it's because of the high wind up here and all that. So uh, I'm actually uh, required to go uh, 20 miles an hour today. So I thought usually it was 25 or, or something like that but today is 20. So, and then you're supposed to have your four-way flashers going and that's exactly what we are doing today. Keeping our four-way flashers going and going across the uh, McIntyre Bridge here right now. So I hope you guys are able to see something because that sun is really shining across that lake there right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I know I have shown this before, but uh, I know I also do have quite a few of you guys that are new to my channel and I would probably love to see something like this or I've never seen something like this before. So, oh, looks like we got the right lane open again. So I guess we'll move her over to the right then again. We'll get across here and see how far far we will actually make it we got another 180 miles to go yet to our delivery place but I don't know if I'll go all the way there I mean it says I could be there at 7 but usually by about 6 o'clock or so now because of the time change and all of that that Sun actually goes down so yeah when the Sun goes down I try to stop somewhere especially in these areas because truck stops are very few in between so it's kind of hard to find a place to park then later in the evening so we're probably going to make a pit stop early I mean I already had my half an hour off and all of that good stuff but yeah anyways let's continue on with our journey here and we'll find us a place to park tonight right I hope so Looks like the right lane is closed up there again, so I don't know what the reasoning for it is. I didn't see any construction or anything, so... I have no idea. Oh well. We'll wait till this next car passes us and then we'll move over too. There we go. Guess we'll uh, move her over into this lane, so that way... We're in the right, correct lane, right? Now we are starting to go down right now. And I bet you this is very gorgeous to you guys. It says trucks keep a space of 500 feet in between each other. For safety reasoning, obviously. Obviously also for the support of the bridge. All of that stuff, so. But it is a very, very big bridge, that is for sure. Alright guys, we are here at a little dinky truck stop. 
And there's a few spots here on that side and a couple of spots over there on that side and <clears throat> other than that there ain't much here but uh, that's all right we made it here last night and had a good night's sleep here it was a nice quiet place safe place nothing to worry about we're actually only 35 miles away from our delivery place so uh, we did manage to find us a little dinky truck stop here so that's fantastic yep and we had us a good night's sleep here that's fantastic it does uh right now i don't think it's drizzling but there a minute ago it was drizzling a little bit <clears throat> but uh yeah i'm just getting ready here to uh go to my delivery and we still haven't gotten a reload yet so we'll see what happens right but i figured i'd close off my show today and then uh, we'll get a new one started here for tomorrow so with that being said have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one this has been trucker rudy signing out <laughs>